Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. No, I'm not launching a rocket. <laughs> Blowing up the the country or anything. This is a hermetic compressor analyzer. Basically what this does is um, it allows you to control a compressor without all the bull crap on it. So as you can see here, we've uh, we removed to get the part number off of and it's it's in the other office. Sorry. I can't show you but it's a little box that attaches to the two bottom prongs here and We tried to like rotate it so <laughs> We try to like rotate it or whatever, but it's got this little disc in it, which is stuck back here now Who cares? It's a little <laughs> it's a little box that hooks onto the bottom thing so on the top you have a wire um, and on, on the bottom you have a wire that one wire that hooks into that little box and that just plugs into the two bottom terminals now what we want to do we want to remove all the wires get them out of our way here and I don't know if y'all can see that very well so let me light up your world in the YouTube uh, community here. Let's see. I'm gonna. Y'all have seen that a thousand times, right? All right. Um. So you have three prongs here. You have the top prong, this prong, and this prong. The easiest way, especially on a mini fridge. This is a mini fridge, by the way. I didn't mention that, but um, on a mini fridge is can she start? So common. Uh, she start, and then run run so can she run can she can she run not can she start can she run and over here you see C for common ground so ground goes to if you don't know what ground is ground is any point that is hooked to metal so we'll just stick this on the screw there so that's where all the ground wires are it's connected to the chassis so can she run start and run so red is start see red and red start so can she run so she red is gonna go over here now do not use that acronym or whatever and don't put it all the way up to this compressor like that you want it pulled out away from the compressor a little bit so it does not short with ground are you gonna have sparkies so can she run so run is now black so we'll do the bottom one oops we'll do the bottom and we'll hook this one up to the bottom here and then this is our common so can and she run you don't want any of these plugs touching each other now when you do this you're gonna have sparkies and arkies all right let me get a uh, all right close that out okay cool that extension cord here get an extension cord I'll plug this baby in I'm gonna leave it on 300 100 most of the time it doesn't do anything but plug it in it says normal so what we want to do we can run in reverse but it's not running in reverse okay nothing's happening there run test start test green ground test I think most of these are so old that they are uh, the lights don't work but you can put in your meter prongs in these things to test other things that you want. If some kind of overload happens or something, the breaker will trip on here. So it'll trip all the power to it except for what's going into it will cease. So what we want to do, let's go forward with the compressor. And if I hit start, it should start. And look at that. 
Can y'all hear that? It started. So I'm gonna leave it like that for a second. See what happens. Maybe it's kicking out on thermal. Which is a thermal overload switch connected to the back there. I don't wanna be too into the business of this, but uh, there's a thermal overload. If it gets hot or anything, and it's not. So let's see if it's getting cold up in here. This thing's got a towel. I hear hissing and stuff and they're gonna have to take my word for it. This thing's getting cold. It's getting cold, yep. It's kinda nasty in there, ugh. Cause it, it didn't run. It's still running. It's running, it's going, 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 going. It's probably going a little slower than usual. Um, these don't really start off a capacitor. They start off a little bimetal disc. And when the bimetal disc gets hot enough, it just clicks over and it just stays running. Because that's all it needs. Because it's not a real big uh, issue there. So, uh, fault does nothing. The run test is not doing anything. The start test. I think these LEDs are... I, I really think they're just incandescent bulbs are burned out. This is a very old Hermatic uh, compressor analyzer, uh, the HA1. Um, this thing's cool as hell. I love it. Um, to get things un, unbogged, like if, if this thing was, uh, you know, bogged down or whatever. Let me go 300. I think you got to hit start again. So what we gotta do is turn it off, hit 300, and we can go forward, and then start. And it started. Sound like it had a little bit of rougher time starting that time. Let's go down to the less value cap and hit start. And I don't expect this to work, so. And it doesn't. So. I hear a refrigerant. I don't know if I can hear that, but I can hear the refrigerant coming back in and bubbling off of the compressor there. It's pretty cool. Ford. It is running. Maybe. No, it's not. So let's go back to 300. Because that was running. So. No faults. So that means there's no shorted. And uh oh, I got it off. Ford, you hear a small hum when I do that, and then you hear start. So the compressor is like stuck right there, and it's it's humming and it's going like that. And when you hit start, there's a capacitor in here, 300 microfarad capacitor or some some something crazy like that, that that just jolts it and. That's why that's a momentarily switch is you're hitting that capacitor and you get it to start so you can tell that this this compressor is running and it's running right now so uh, we've ordered the little start relays that's all that was wrong with these things um, for the longest uh, you know we've thrown away thrown away four or five of them that that's probably the only reason why they failed was that stupid start relay and coming at 12 bucks a pop for a start relay, that's stupid when this thing's $90. It's a, it's a nice uh, refrigerator. Here's uh, some model number here. And it's Sears. It's, it's, it's a Kenmore. It's Kenmore stainless steel, black. Um, as you see, it's been up there a while. And it's, you know, not working. Jeff, wash me please. But uh, this thing comes in handy. Really does. Um, you can't rarely find these anymore. They, there's a couple companies coming back with them, but man, these things are a lifesaver. They save a lot of money. I mean, as far as diagnosing compressors, uh, this this one also can do the 220 volt compressors here.
it'll, it'll tell you how to do everything here blah 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 but um I think what you need is a cheater cord and all HVAC guys know what I'm talking about it's that cord that hooks into a regular outlet and but it has clamps on it and you can clamp onto the 220 or the ground or if you need a cheat and make the 110 circuit you can do that by just dropping a leg but um pretty freaking cool device guys I I have to say this is the first time I've ever used this this thing's probably been made in 1986 it's the HA1 hermetic compressor analyzer universal enterprises but um yeah it's a awesome awesome tool to have um i was told that you know we're not going to use this take it home and all this and it's been on my cart forever and uh i said well you know maybe one day i'll have have a need for it and today is that day i have two of these refrigerators not running this thing's running now it's still running it's going 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 the compressor's not hot so um we're gonna go back in here and see if it's oh it's icing up already it's icing up this thing is it's already icing up and as you know how these uh, little mini fridge fridges work they they just basically are a a uh, compressor uh refrigerated unit this is a uh, r134a he uses 1.4 one ounces and um of r134a this compressor is not straining i don't it, it's just brrr, like purring like a little kitten right now so when the parts come in we'll replace it and hopefully that'll 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 take care of our problem because it works with this thing and that's what it's designed for is to reverse and do this and this and other even though i can't get it to reverse for some reason maybe there's a problem with this you know it is a hand-me-down unit but uh, it's working it's refrigerating right now so basically these are a air conditioning that's low on freon and all they do is freeze up and that's what keeps your that's what keeps your stuff cold inside of them basically if if it had a defrost thermostat that's all you would need and it would defrost but then it would it doesn't have a drain pan for any of the water to go into so that's the only difference is really in between the mini fridges and the refrigerator you have today so um put it in layman's terms there's a lot of other stuff going on uh with the defrost timer and stuff like that but there's also evaporator pan in the thing that evaporates the water. You know, you can get real technical with it, but we're not going there. Um, you know, so I mean, look at look at the wiring diagram. That's it. That's it, guys. That's all it is. 